In 2003, we got the movie Freddy vs. Jason. Now, this movie went through production hell before it came out. In fact, this movie was literally teased in a Friday the 13th film that ended up getting a sequel before the movie it was teasing even came out. But then it came out in 2003 to pretty mixed reviews. And I think people were saying pretty much the same thing because there really is only one thing to say about it. It's Freddy vs. Jason. Or at least some of the movie is. It's actually surprising just how much it's just either one or the other. Because by this point, Freddy is just completely out of the picture. I mean, he has no power over this town. For the most part. And then he's like, he summons Jason to basically help him. But then when friend Jason Voorhees starts stealing Freddy's thunder and starting to steal his kills, he starts to get a little bit angry. So they start fighting each other. And no, that's when you just have to completely turn your brain off and just let the awesomeness like happen. Because if you think about any of this any of the happenings of this movie logically, it will just blow up in your face. But if you're just able to imagine it as just this epic like hour and a half action sequence between Freddy versus Jason Voorhees, if you're able to imagine that, then this movie functions very, very well. But you're gonna have to keep in mind that they wanna build up these human characters, and they are likable, but you do not care about them one bit, because you have to focus on them, and then you have to like, but then, but you're really trying to focus on Freddy versus Jason, like the title would lead you to believe. But, you know, our, main, our lead um, human characters, yes, I know they have to be there, but they have, like, the stupidest subplots that you couldn't care less about. They're like the third wheel, basically. I mean, they're just there to just be, they're just there to be there, pretty much. They're just there because they have to be there, if that makes sense. So, like, yeah, they're likable. They're not interesting. You couldn't care less about them. And um, that's basically the whole thing in the movie, but when the fight sequences do happen, I mean, one of the things I love about the Nightmare on Elm Street films is Freddy Krueger's just mannerisms, and those are on full display here. I mean, he, he when he's fighting uh, Jason, it is, like, he's like a full-on, like, cart he's like full-on, like, animated, he's a freaking cartoon character. I mean, it's kind of funny watching some of the sequences throughout this movie. Like, this one guy gets high, and then Jay, and then, all right, so this one guy, he gets really high, and then Freddy comes in, and basically gets in, gets this, like, acid trip worm to get inside this guy's mouth, so he can take over this guy's body, I don't know, it's really strange, but this movie's really goofy too, I mean, I don't know, it's, it's just super goofy, and it doesn't make it, it's, it, doesn't make any sense, but hey, I guess they exist in the same universe now, but whatever. If you guys enjoyed this video or any of my other content, please consider subscribing, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.